Hello, my name is Dan and I'm presenting you a very short background on the open source repertory grid uh, uh, tool that we are working on. So, the main, uh, the intended use of, uh, usage of, for this tool is for capturing architectural decisions. What are architectural decisions? So, they are uh, decisions uh, which are hard to make and expensive to change. For example, what programming language are you going to use for your uh, new project, uh, what architectural patterns are you going to use, uh, middleware and so on. So they are a subcategory of, of uh, decisions. And in practice, uh, what happens is that the uh, knowledge about architectural decision is lost for a variety of reasons, ranging from uh, uh, postponing to, to forgetting and, and so on. And the consequences for such loss is that when requirements change, impact on design is difficult to trace, review is difficult, and uh, ultimately maintenance costs increase. Additionally, good architects make good architectural decision. So software design is all about decision making. And the question is how can we improve architectural decision making? And the solution that uh, I've been pursuing in my research is uh, uh, to use the repertory grid technique, which is uh, basically a structured interview uh, combined with a grid-based rating technique. And uh, let's uh, use a small example. Here is a basic example on some fruits. You have uh, a few fruits and you elicit some knowledge about, about these uh, using a protocol. Okay, you have a sort of set of questions and you elicit some characteristics and these uh, will go into, into a grid where you have more uh, characteristics here as a contrast. Okay, one it's uh, agreement to, to the strong agreement to the left uh, pole of the characteristics and five agreement with the right pole. And these are various uh, fruits which the person uh, evaluated. Now, here is an example from uh, from a, a paper uh, that uh, we had a few uh, that we had uh, last year. Uh, here is an architectural. Here is a repertory grid on a, on an architectural decision, a choice of a graph library. So this person had the following concerns: graph, huge graph management. Uh, then, okay, the library needed to needed to write code in C++ or in Java. Uh, the performance, write your own examples, and so on and so forth. And the alternatives that were considered were, were these. And uh, uh, then these were rated. One strongly agree with, with left, and, and so on. This is the legend for this. And uh, by analyzing uh, this grid, these dendrograms are obtained. So these dendrograms show a similarity uh, level among, uh, among uh, concerns or among uh, uh, alternatives. We can see, for example, Prefuse and Infovis, they are uh, quite similar, and this we can trace back through these ratings. We can see that the ratings are quite similar. Uh, there is also an ideal graph library, and we can see that JGraphT is most similar uh, to, to, uh, to the ideal uh, graph library. So the idea with this uh, analysis is that it allows you to refine your uh, your uh, decision. It it helps you uh, in your decision making, and it also captures uh, the knowledge for this decision. And this is what we are going to to achieve with this uh, new new tool, repertory grid tool.